Newgate Farm has forged a great reputation for not only standing a large number of young stallions, but also for its success in buying colts to come to the farm and racing them to Group 1 success with their fantastic clients. Let's have a look at some select yearlings from Newgate in 2024. Jim, it's a wonderful operation, Newgate Farm. Obviously, you have these incredible stallions. You're producing so many winners on the track and wonderful broodmare band as well with some fantastic clients. But as far as the stallions firing with the early Carnival Stakes winners, Re Revolutionary Miss, Russian to the Bar by Russian Revolution, Capitalist has had Aardvark in the Talender, Castagna off the farm in the Lonro Plate, to sort with uh, Manal winning the Sweet Embrace, Extreme Choice with uh, Parkour and a top filly in Extreme Diva and of course Lady Camelot off the farm. It's really hard to keep up with them all. Yeah, look, obviously on behalf of um, Gavin and Catherine, Matthew and Wendy, Henry and Louise and all the management team here at the farm, it's a great honour to have you here at the farm to you know look at our showcase some of our Easter yearlings. It's been a fantastic start to the year again for Newgate. You know, obviously Castagna, Lady Camelot, obviously off the both raised and grazed off the farm. It's been you know sharp, fast two-year-olds, which is what we kind of prize ourselves on. Um, Stallions have done fantastically well. They've all had representatives in all the, the big two-year-old races so far and uh, hopefully continues on for the rest of the season. Well, looking at this draft, uh, starting off with Lot 226, this is by the four-time champion Australian sire Snitzel from Prompt, this filly. So she's more than a half-sister to the Tats Tiara winner Prompt Response. Yeah, look, she's bred by SF and Gavin and, you know, she's a beautiful, well-grown, good-moving, big hip, big uh, girth filly, um, Typical of, you know, he's, he's, he's a fantastic stallion. We've had a lot of success with him. Obviously, we've a, a lot of his sons that stood here and uh, we've had a good year selling his offspring at the sale. So this filly is a really showcase, well-bred schnitzel filly. It's been really, really well received at the Easter. So lot 263 is second. A cult by capitalist from Satin Socks. At the dam, a three-time winner in stakes performer from a silver slipper winner, Satin Shoes. Uh, again, a beautiful capitalist, a representative of capitalist. Obviously bred by Belinda Bateman, who raced capitalist and she she has a broodmare band on the farm here that's second to none in the whole of Australasia. Um, as you can see, anytime you see Satin in the family, it's, it's Belinda's and <laughs> she does a fantastic job. Look, he's a really good, moving, sharp, mature colt uh, by capitalist who's looked absolutely smashing out of the park. You know, he's an uh, incredible speed stallion. You know, he leads the sires list from two-year-old stakes, runners to winners. Obviously a great family, you know, goes back time unstoppable. Look, stallion's flying, you know, he's done such, such a good job in Hong Kong. As we said earlier, with Castagna and uh, Aardvark have done a fantastic job, two-year-old stakes horses this year, and, you know, he's going to be really, really popular at Easter. Next is lot 330 by the great Fastnet Rock from Supreme Mine. Second Dam Small Mines won the Australasian Oaks and uh, produced a three-quarter sister to this filly in Sneaky Five and also Beautiful Mind. Yeah, look, she's a beautiful, obviously, in my previous roles, I've seen a lot of Fastnet Rock fillies, a lot of good ones, and... You know, she's a filly uh, I really like, actually. She's, she was bred in uh, Kingstar by Matthew Sandblom, and she came to us uh, earlier on this year, and she's just a beautiful, good-moving, lots of quality about her. Um, like those good, fast fillies, you know, lots of quality, good action. Uh, I'd say probably a bit earlier than a lot of the other ones um, that I've seen, and just a really nice, honest filly. We move on to a son of your wonderful stallion, Extreme Choice, lot 343 from Tempt Me Not. The dam's a tough, gory bred and race mare who won the PJ Bell and is a granddaughter of a real pocket rocker, the, the really tough Tempest Morn. Really good action, really just swings along too. Just a lovely colt. Yeah, look, obviously the sire is a, you know, he's been a fantastic stallion for us. You know, when you see the quality of mares, He's the, the yearlings are going to the sales this year out of uh, out of this crop. You know, the, you know, when you see what he's done so far, you know he's running at I think nearly thirteen percent stakes winners to runners, off of arguably you know weren't his better mares. You know, the, the, there's all blue sky ahead for the stallion. You know, he's obviously bred in partnership with Gorey and Newgate, and uh, he's a cold I really love. You know, he's great moving, really good action, very straightforward. Really, exactly exactly what you think of a Gorey offspring, a really hardy, tough colt, and. Uh, you know, when you put extreme on top of these gory mares, you know, it's gonna, we're going to have a lot of fun going forward. Obviously, you know, Castagna is in the second dam, obviously out of Ganda, so, you know, pedigree is getting better and better, and uh, he's really sharp, mature, cold. 
Lot 332, this is the first yearling to be sold by the star American stallion Gunrunner in Australasia. Of course, Gunrunner uh, now is covering a lot of mares to Southern Hemisphere time, so you'll see more of them. But this guy is a real standout. He's from a mare called Sweet Marini, and this is just a beautiful-looking colt. Yeah, look, it's, it's a huge honour to be given the opportunity to sell this colt. Uh, you know, stallion's an absolute freak. You know, to have six Group 1 winners in his first crop, he runs at 11% stakes, winners to runners, and he stands for 250,000 US this year, Northern Hemisphere time. Um, you know, I'm thinking with this cold, you know, the, obviously a lot of the American dirt stallions over the years probably lack a bit of action, whereas this guy has a good action, he's a good mover, plenty of size and scope. It's a great honour to have a cold by the stallion. Um, that is, you know, internationally renowned as one of the best stallions worldwide. And finally, here at Newgate, lot 462, another by your star stallion, Extreme Choice, from Coco, as in Chanel. Yeah, again, look, another good representation of our, you know, statistically one of the best stallions in, in, in the world. Like all the good extremes, you know, he has great action, great movement. Uh, he's a little bit of a later fall, but he has plenty of strength already. Um, no reason why he wanted to get up and go early as a two-year-old. Uh, look, stallions had a fantastic... Year to date, you know, his yearlings have made 1.6, 1.45, 1.4. They're gone to, you know, James, Henry, Rosemont, all the big players of have, have, have Gay has bought, you know, no, numerous ones by him. So if he improves on what he's done so far, it's actually going to be frightening how good this stallion could be. Obviously, we've had a fantastic summer, uh, the whole of the Hunter Valley, we've had plenty of rain. The farm looks fantastic, it's a huge credit to all the farming team and all the whole team at Newgate, how well the farm looks. And, you know, obviously the way we raise our uh, yearlings and our young stock, you know, we're obviously as, we try and leave it as organic as possible. They're in the paddock for as long as they can get. All our Easter yearlings are all, fillies are all out together. Uh, you know, our, our main goal is trying to raise athletes and that's the success. That's, we put that down to the success we're having year after year. I think everybody's looking forward to getting to Easter and seeing the creme de la creme of, of some of the best yearlings to put to auction in the 2024 year, you know. Um, it hasn't been a straightforward year, um, and that's evident at all the sales so far this year. But, you know, look, it's, uh, it's a strong marketplace. Easter's always strong. Uh, a lot of international buyers, vibes are good. Sebastian and the team do a good job getting the buyers there, so we need to get the yearlings there and uh, hopefully be a success for everybody. Thank you.